Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at two AI voice note applications. Letterly, uh, which is a uh, an application that is on an AppSumo lifetime deal that you can get right now, and voicenote.com, which is also another um, application, which is also on a lifetime deal. So uh, I I downloaded both. I paid for both, and I've been testing both um, to see which one is better. I'm very likely going to keep one. So I'm going to basically do a review on both of these. Now, literally, let's just quickly go over the actual um, uh, plan here. So they are on, on an AppSumo lifetime deal. You can buy one, uh, one. you can buy plan one, plan two, uh, plan three, and you have a bunch of different codes, right? Let's go back to, uh, so each plan, you, so the first plan you have one device, um, you have unlimited number of notes, you have a bunch of languages, uh, the the 15 minute per recording is the same across all plans. Now voice notes is a little bit different where if you actually, the free version you have, voice recordings are up to one minute, uh, but then if you pay the lifetime deal or if you get on the actual subscription, then it's uh, I think 30 minute uh, minutes per recording. And um, the, the big difference I think between the two applications is that literally has a lot more rewrites, AI rewrites, and I'll show you how that looks like. Um, you do have unlimited recordings that you can store. You have transcriptions, which both of them have. Native iOS and Android app, apps, both of them have that as well. Screen off recording, you have a widget and iOS app and offline recordings. So I, I don't believe um, Voice Notes has a, um, has a widget yet, um, but they, they, they will. Now let's take a look at the Letterly's website. So this is their website, turn your speech into well-written text. Now I do want to add a caveat, voicenotes.com has a desktop app uh, and uh, they're desktop first and they also have mobile apps. Letterly is only on mobile, so you can download it on the iOS app store or the Google, Google Play app store. But you cannot, you can't access this on, but they did mention that they will have the application on web very soon. They're working on that right now. Now let's take a look at reviews. Anton is the founder of this tool. Uh, let's look at the reviews. Let's rate by lowest to highest. And so nice app, but needs to mature. So um, some of the some of the comments we're getting is that it is only a phone app at the moment and it has limitations. So what you can do with the generated results, such as you can, as far as my experience goes, you can't actually create custom AI um, uh, rewrites. Uh, and they also don't have at this moment uh, integrations with webhooks, Zapier, Make, um, and a web interface is still in development according to the maker. So let's go to the next one and they mentioned the app has quite um, unique features, it's native and fast. Voice notes is also pretty native and fast. Record while the screen is off. I believe voice notes can't do that yet, uh, but it is gonna come very soon. Record multiple recordings one after the other without waiting for the transcription to finish. I believe voice notes can do that as well. Offline recording, uh, I believe voice notes is also, um, whether it's this version or the next version, they're having that very soon. And widgets, iOS for now, I believe voice notes is also working on that. So both of them basically have the same uh, sort of features. And I think it really comes down to like which user experience you prefer more than the other. I think both tools are good, but I will at the end of this, if you stay until the end of this video, I will tell you guys which one I'll keep and which one I will let go. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, uh, so I just dragged the Letterly application on my phone onto the desktop so you guys can see the actual user interface um, of the actual phone application. And um, I'm also going to go on voicenotes.com and uh, we'll record something here as well. One thing I, I did want to mention is um, if you go to, if you so if you just sign up for voicenotes.com, uh, you can upgrade to, to a lifetime deal as well. It is 50 times, uh, $50 lifetime. And it's basically, um, there is no uh, device limitations. Um, like the, I think the limits are a lot fairer. And they do use the smartest AI models uh, for responses. Whereas literally, I, I'm not sure, so sure that they're clear about um, what models they use, as far as I can tell, they, they're not too clear about that. Um, so I might have to actually look that look into that. But um, yeah, so let's let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to record a voice note on both uh, Letterly and both uh, voicenotes.com, and uh, we'll see what we can do with each response. So uh, I'm just going to start recording. So I'll click on that, and also click on this. And as you can see, today is. July 1st, 2024, and uh, I just want to clear, um, I just want to make a map of some of the big 
uh, projects that I want to do this year. So I am planning on developing my YouTube channel. And right now I have around 150 subscribers, but the plan is to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year, by the end of 2024. And also I want to um, see if I can publish uh, at least 150 videos by the end of the year. And um, another plan is to uh, grow my uh, web development uh, business. Um, so right now where we have Actively, we have around um, five monthly subscribers and we're getting around one to three projects a month. Uh, but by the end of the year, we want to get to around 15 monthly subscribers on our maintenance, uh, maintenance uh, web, web website care plan. And uh, also uh, for my job, I want to see if we can uh, increase our organic traffic by another 20% from what it is now. We're getting a decent amount of traffic per month, but I think we can do a little bit better. Um, and we want to focus on increasing our conversion rates on our calls and forms uh, for the website. Um, some of the books that I want to read, I want to definitely, I want to definitely uh, read some books on um, just uh, philosophy and nature in general. I want to I want to start to understand epistemology and I want to look some, I want to read some really classical books on philosophy and just keep myself more educated. Um, and so because we only have six months left, I want to read at least one, I want to complete one book, a one book a month. I also want to uh, lose weight. I, um, I am, I have gained weight over the last couple uh, years. And so um, I want to get down to 160 pounds and uh, I weigh maybe around 205 to 210 right now. So I have 50 pounds to lose. So what I want to do is I want to basically lose four pounds a month. And given we only have six months, uh, that's around 25 pounds. So I want to get to around 185 by the end of the year. And we'll click on done. And we'll click on done here. And so notice what it's doing now. It's uh, it's transcribing. Let's see which one's faster. Although I did, um, oh, sorry. This is connected to my phone, so I just have to unlock it. And uh, yeah, so clearly the letterly is a little bit faster with when it comes to, um, letterly is a little bit faster when it comes to uh, transcriptions. Now you can see right now it, it transcribes both, right? The key here is that, th the big difference here is with uh, letterly you have access to uh, rewrites that they've already done before, like uh, the, the actual custom prompts they've done before. Whereas voicenotes.com, what you have to do is you have a couple. So if you click on create, uh, you can do a couple things. So you can clean it up. You can email, you can um, create a blog post out of it. You can create a tweet. You can do a to-do list, main point summarize. Now I think they have custom prompts coming very soon, which will actually change the game for me. But right now I don't think this is uh, sufficient enough. Whereas I do think uh, Letterly has much better prompts. So if we go back here, uh, it's, for example, if I just click on more, if I scroll down, um, let's do something like, for example, uh, let's do, um, let's see what we can do here. Let's do, uh, summaries, writing styles, clear and concise. So you can see the different rewrites they have clear and concise. I'm just trying to see what the best option here is. Let's do an X thread. So I'm going to click on X thread and what it's doing now, it's just basically turning that into an X thread. Okay, so it did that. So if I go back here, if I scroll to the right, sorry, one sec, scroll to the right. <clears throat> so as you can see now, it broke this down into an X thread. So you can see today is July 1st, 2024, and I'm mapping out my big projects for the year. Let's dive in. I'm planning to develop my YouTube channel, currently at 150 subscribers, aiming for 1,000 by the end of 2024. I also want to publish at least 150 videos by the end of the year. Content is king. Growing my web development business is another goal. We have five monthly subscribers now, aiming for 15, for 15 by the year ends. And you can see they have uh, 10 tweets that you can go uh, tweet. So if you really want to break down a tweet thread um, and you just want to talk and break that down, this is a good example. Now, if we go back to uh, voicenotes.com, you can see you can do a couple things. So I can do a lot of these. So I'll, I'll summarize um, and uh, also uh, do the main points. Also to-do list, we'll do a tweet, we'll do a blog post, we'll do an email, and we'll do a cleanup as well. 
and you can see it, it it breaks these down into its own thread and uh, you can, so you can click on one of these. So let's go on summary, for example, and you can see uh, for summary, it does as of July 1st, it basically summarizes the whole thing. And then you can do main points as well. So today is July 1st, read books on philosophy and nature, understand epistemology, read classical books on philosophy. Um, if we go to to-do list, you can develop my YouTube channel, get to a thousand YouTube subscribers by the end of 2024. Um, so these are, so you can look at the tweet as well. So this is not a tweet thread, but a tweet itself. So July 1st, 2024, attempts to map out big plans, grow YouTube to 1K subscribers, Publish 150 vids, boost web biz to 15 clients, lift organic traffic for work, and you can go to email and then hey, hi. As you can see, today is our July 1st, 2024. I just want to make a map of some of the big projects for the rest of the year. Here's a brief overview and breaks that down. You can see a blog post as well. And as you can see, today is July 1st, 2024. I just want to, again, this is probably not as useful. I think short and sweet is good so a blog post probably is not a good example of this and you can do a clean so you can see it cleans it up and it formats a little bit better so current subscribers go by end of 2024 web development it sort of it sort of breaks this and i like i like this i like the this format here and you can also edit the actual um you can edit this as well you can do the same thing on letterly as well um, you, there's more, you can regenerate the title, you can regenerate the transcript, you can also tag it as well. So you have, um, you can, uh, so you have like a, you know, a list of t t tags that you can manage and organize. Um, and you can also add a thread or a photo or a link. So say for example, add thread and note. So, and then you can, so now I'm adding another, um, voice note to this thread. You can do that and you can do multi, uh, multi, like in, you can create one thread of multiple voice notes as well. Um, you can also add photos and uh, images and things like that. You can also add a, a link as well here. So in a nutshell, voice notes is, is very simple, very easy, very quick, very nice, which I appreciate. And uh, I just think the only thing they're really lacking is uh, the ability to actually create custom prompts. Um, and you can do a couple other things. So you can, for example, ask my AI as well. And so for example, what kind of books do I want to read end of this year? And you can also uh, talk with your voice as well. Like you can, uh, what it does is like you can just ask with your mic and it'll transcribe that and then it'll respond. It'll turn the, and then it'll respond in plain language, but it'll then turn that transcription to a voice note as well. Um, so you can see, for example, you've expressed interest in reading books on philosophy and nature towards the end of the year, particularly focus on epistemology and classical books. And you can actually see where the source is and you can click on that and it takes you to the actual source. Um, Whereas voice, uh, whereas literally you can uh, do, um, so you can also edit this as well, add whatever you want. And uh, let's go back here. Let's do a rewrite again. And let's do something like, um, let's scroll down. You can also just, if you don't know how to rewrite it, you can just click on magic and it'll decide to choose what, what it thinks the best format is. Um, but let's do something like, um, uh, you know, like a LinkedIn post. So let's do a LinkedIn post. So I just did a LinkedIn post, um, excited mid-year goals update as we step into the second half of 2024. I'm thrilled to share some of my ambitious goals for the remaining of, remainder of the year. Your support and insights would be invaluable. YouTube growth currently at 150 subscribers. My goal is to hit the thousand mark by the end of the year. Also publishing at least 150 videos. Content creation is a journey and I'm eager to enhance my channel's impact and it sort of breaks that down. Now, I, I also, I think I have the same uh, feedback for this tool as well. You can't c create custom rewrites at the moment or custom prompts. You you basically have to depend on what they have, which I'm not a huge fan of. I wish you can just create a custom prompt. What I do like about voice notes that um, literally just simply doesn't have is the ability to ask uh, my AI, which will ask, you can ask questions about your actual voice notes and transcripts. Um, and you know, you can really dive, dive into it. And for example, uh, what are some of my tasks this week? And from my experience, uh, once you have a whole like huge list of voice notes, it might suffer a little bit getting directly and getting right proper answers um, because you just have so many voice notes. Uh, but what I found was useful is um, if you ask a question like, "What are my tasks uh, this week?" For example, it'll generally look at the you know the, the most recent um, yeah you can buy samosas and work like it's just yeah um, uh, yeah. So I, I obviously have. I just do random voice notes and, and some of it's real and some of it's not. So I'm just testing it. But yeah, you can ask 
questions about your voice notes and it'll give you sources and um, yeah so that's a gist of uh, what both tools do in in a nutshell um, what's my recommendation well I think both of them are good I think Letterly is really nice the UI is nice on their phone um, it might be a little bit more fluid than voicenotes.com but I also think voice notes is really great they have a web application you can ask questions about your voice notes uh, so in my opinion I would probably go with voicenotes.com just because if, you, if we're looking at the pricing here so just one code is $59, whereas voice notes, one code, you only have one plan, which basically has unlimited uh, d uh, applications and unlimited uh, pla like devices because you're limited by device here. I'd probably go with voice notes.com, which probably for the money is the, the better value. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, well, it, both of them are good, 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 uh, good voice transcription tools, but I, I would definitely recommend voice notes.com. So yeah, until next time, take care and uh, see you.